two weeks before the election? It is uh, disappointing uh, to hear that. Uh, we heard, uh, we were just informed, uh, as everybody else, uh, that this happened, and also we think it's for personal reasons he uh, mentioned. Uh, I have stated today in the council the importance of having a quick plan B because of the timing. Uh, but uh, this is something that is unfortunate, I think, uh, despite the reasons. Was your government happy with Mr. Kubish's performance? Because there have been some that have said that perhaps there have been some rumblings behind the scenes that he, his preparation was not for the elections was not entirely fair. We, we appreciate all efforts from uh, the UN mission and UNSMIL and with the SRG. There was no issues and uh, the government had a mandate that has been followed with and also working closely with the UN mission. So there was no problems. The elections are supposed to be on the 24th of December. It's a very tight timeline. Do you really think they can be held then or do you think there'll have to be a slight delay? The, again, we're committed to the roadmap. We have commitments to deliver on. We have stated the concerns to everyone. We have mentioned it in the council. There are indeed some challenges. Uh, the issues around some of the legal frameworks uh, around the elections is uh, a concern. Uh, but these are things between the political parties. As the government, they're meant to implement whatever Libyans decide. About some of the candidates, there are questions about some of the candidates. For example, General Haftar, who has had some of his commanders accused of war crimes, and perhaps even more importantly with regard to war crimes and the International Criminal Court, Saif al-Islam Gaddafi is running as a candidate to be the president when the International Criminal Court would like to see him in The Hague. There are electoral laws that govern this issue, and this is up to the High National Electoral Commission and also the courts to discuss and to see who has, uh, you know, fulfills the criteria or not. But for us, we are not uh, concerned with these things because it's not our duty to do so. There's other methods to go through. And, and can you give us just, for those that don't quite understand how that process works, when are, when are these commissions, given the time frame, when are they likely to, to meet to discuss these candidates and say whether they are valid that they should, should be able to stand? Yeah. Do you yesterday, expect yesterday there was a press conference from the High National Electoral Commission, and as he announced on the timeline, we're expecting within the 48 hours that this were at least the first round of uh, candidates accepted by them uh, will be announced. Then there will be another couple of days to look into the other candidates in terms of legal issues, and the, everything has its own timeline. Uh, during the meeting of the Security Council special, and we mentioned that the uh, 5 plus 5 committee is welcomed in Moscow and Ankara. Uh, can you please confirm what is the date? When should we expect this uh, visit by 5 plus 5 to Moscow, and what will they discuss there? I'm sorry, I'm not aware of the timeline, and this is totally uh, something with the committee to discuss as an independent body dealing with this issue. So we're not informed yet. Okay. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank you.